Around the Downs is presented by White Claw Hard Seltzer. Through the day, it's, it's just a buildup and it's not really anything out of the ordinary. But the actual race itself, you know, we do the walkover and you can hear the crowd getting ready. And then when it's riders up and you're walking out of the tunnel, they're singing my old Kentucky home. And they finish that and the crowd just erupts. Like when they get through playing that, it's unbelievable. It looks like a sea of people and then you hear horses in there. And everybody's just, you can feel the excitement in the air and there's, there's, there's no other feeling like it. You can feel like the sound on your back, almost hitting you. It's pretty, it's pretty intense, it's pretty cool. Calvin won three out of the four, and you know, and Calvin and I are good friends. The unflappable Calvin Morrell riding that rail to victory once again in the Kentucky Derby. He's a great guy. The kiss on the mouth the one year, you know, I could have done without that, especially he could have wiped the dirt off his face. Calvin Morrell strikes again. He looked as if he had tears in his eyes. The, a few years back, thunder snow came out of the starting gate and literally started bucking. It was a great start for Always Dreaming and something went wrong with Thunderstone. People praise me a lot, but I'm gonna tell you, that guy not falling off that horse, I mean, it could have very easily went way worse than it did. Right away, Thunderstone is having trouble in the early stages here. I mean, that was the closest potential Kentucky Derby disaster that I can recall in Greg Blasey. He saved the day. Had Greg not been alert and paying attention, who knows what could have happened. What about that two horse? Started bucking, I mean, broke in two. And then probably one of my most memorable, uh, the outrider that was here, Sean Brasso, that passed away, I let him bring Super Saver back. Hey, this go slow, kind of real easy job. Take him down to about the eighth hole, baby. Of all the things I've done, I'm, you know, because it made his career. He's been out riding for 18 years. He's retired. It's his last murder. I said, he's bringing him back. If he knows what to do. He's fine. Yeah, that was super saver of the year, and that's, I'll never forget that. Favorite Kentucky Derby? Um, I guess the next one. <laughs> Always the next one, and the next one to look forward to, just like anybody else. I don't know, it's just, it's pretty amazing. But I've been blessed to be around some of the greatest riders, horses. Those are the people that respect that I really care about and want is the horsemen, the trainers, the jockeys, and, and that's, that's what matters.